Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to Sasquatch Speaks. I am Sasquatch, otherwise known as Gavi's House. Welcome back. I hope you all are enjoying yourselves in this four-day sprint, I guess. Um, again, I do apologize for not more accurately planning this out. Um, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, there will be a link in the description to my Thursday video, which gives more detail as to what is going on in my channel. And a request, again, in, to leave in the comments there or some other form of communication, all of which are listed in that video, um, what you would like to see more from my channel, whether uh, more Sasquatch Six videos or um, to continue on with my normal programming, which is absent these last few days due to uh, my failure to account for going out of town. <clears throat> anyway, as I said, uh, this is going to be a part, multiple part series. Uh, we'll see if it ends today or goes on, again, depending on what those that uh, video from Thursday brings out. Um, I may actually throw that up. Nah, we'll think about it. I'll, I'll do, think about that off, off, off camera. <clears throat> not off camera, but off mic. The microphone picks this up, but the camera does not. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, anyway, so the last few days, I've been talking about attire, uh, presentation, how you look, how you feel, how I feel about how some people look. I'll give you a spoiler in case you haven't seen those. It wasn't good! Um, I tend to be a little bit, not a little bit, I tend to be a lot judgmental about some things, but that's really just kind of my personality. Kind of, kind of get used to it. <clears throat> if you're going to stick around here, that is, if you are, please hit the subscribe button down below. I'll very much enjoy in, uh, entertaining you in many, many more videos to come from this. Yes. Um, if not, well, you know, then just get out of here. There's a X button in the corner. <clears throat> that's what that's for, in case you didn't know. Um, anyway, so I want to talk a little bit about um, me. I figured, you know, I, I've, I've made fun of people for the last two days. I think it's a good, uh, a sign of good character and growth to turn this around on me and say, okay, <sighs> this is what I think of them. I will now offer myself up on the platter for all of you to um, <clears throat> mock me. Although I don't really, okay, again, my opinion is not different from, is very much different from yours. Not, not different, because then I just say that I, my opinion rules all, and well, I wouldn't mind that, per se. But that's not really what I was intending to say. What I was intending to say is that your diff, your opinion has the great potential to be different from mine. So what I view to be comfortable or a good expression of what and who I am or who I am trying to be, is not necessarily something that you are in a place or a desire or a frame of mind that you would want to emulate. Not something that you would want to take on for yourself. But it's me. It's not you. So I'm just going to tell you what I like. And um, that'll let you guys pick me apart in the comments. Ha -ha. Um, no, there will not be pictures of me or nor pictures of my closet um, or anything else like that. I suppose the closest, well, actually, you know what, that's not entirely true, because there's a picture of me on the screen right now, and there's a picture of what I'm wearing, so yes, I did not record this naked. Um, well, it's not, I didn't record, that picture's not from when this is recorded, but it's recorded from, it's picked up from a couple days ago, um, while I was recording a different one of these. Um, yeah, and the wild gesticulations and everything going on like this, and you, know, you can't see this, but I'm still gesticulating anyway, because it's what I am and what I do. Uh, I promise I'm not Italian, that I know of. Uh, most of it's all Scottish and German. And a little bit of Dutch. Or a lot of bit of Dutch. Eh, Dutch and German are pretty close. Who cares? Um, anyway. Anyway. Um, when I am out of the house, when I'm going about or conducting business, I tend to attire myself. And this is actually what I prefer. I mean, I understand there are times where this isn't... It's just not the right time of the place, or... you it. it it just will not survive if you put it in some certain, in certain situations. But generally, when I'm out and about, when I'm doing something, I'd like to attire myself well. I like to dress well. I have like a, sh a shirt, a nice pair of pants, occasionally a tie, uh, more occasionally a suit coat, but more of those in the past when I had them that fit me well. I'm, I'm oddly proportioned. I have incredibly broad shoulders. And a not entirely small waist, but it's much, much less than my shoulders. Um, so it's weird to buy clothes for me because I can't ever find anything that fits. And it's really fucking annoying, but that's not really the point here. The point here is that when I when I am in public, I like to present myself well. I touched a little bit on this yesterday about my grandfather. Um, 
well, actually, both grandfathers on this one, how they were both men who presented themselves very, very well. And that has carried over to my generation very highly. I, I feel nervous when I leave the house and I am not, and don't have my hair combed, and I'm, like I said, I'm not dressed. I don't always have to be in, like, dress clothes or business clothes or anything like that. But even when I dress down, I still find myself, in most cases, to be dressed a step or two above most of the other people who are attending that sort of, whatever, whatever function it is that I'm at. And that's just who I am, how I do it. I don't really know why I feel compelled to do that or why it is that I feel most comfortable in that in that capacity, but I do. Um, I mean, like I said, you can't t- you can't wear uh, a button-up shirt and some nice slacks and uh, a tie to go play football in. It's just not going to work out. But um, when when I go and do something like that, I wear a very a fair, fairly decent set of jeans, or I have a couple of other pairs of pants that are also fairly nice look nice looking. They're not just like rags and tatters are just pulled off the wall or something. They're 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 in good shape. They're well structured. They're not they're not skinny jeans. Dear God, don't get me started on the skinny jeans. I don't understand how people can breathe in those or anything else. So just don't get me started on them. Don't get me started on them. <clears throat> anyway, but it's just uh, I like to wear cowboy boots. And most of them are, 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 are like the boot cut sort of thing. However that however that works. I I heard that they're boot cut. I don't actually know what the difference is. I don't, but someone told me they were, or regular, or something like that. I don't know. I, I don't understand what all the cuts and fashion stuffs and things like that mean. It's just, so people told me what it is. I'm like, okay, I believe you, because I don't know. <laughs> don't really care either. Um, but but they, to, to me, they look nice. If, if I had to, I could walk into some sort of a business place, and they wouldn't be like, you're underdressed, get out. Um it, it, I try, like I said, I try at all times to present myself very well. To go with, to go with it when I'm like out playing football or just walking or fishing or hiking or hunting or something like that, which is weird because when you're hunting, there's really nobody who sees you. But I still dress well, at least to my at least to my mind. I could be wrong, but to my mind, I dress well. <laughs> um, well, the deer see you shortly before they die, except when I'm hunting because I haven't killed any deer before. <clears throat> That's another story, a long, painful one that may get him talk, brought up another day. Let me make a note of that right here. Or maybe not, I'll do that after we're done. <laughs> yes. Anyway, so I've got my nice pair of, pair of jeans on. Uh, I have a collection of well, ta- not tailored, but uh, T-shirts and stuff like that that, that fit me very well. That, that like don't hang out my 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 extra couple of pounds don't hang too far over the front of and I don't look like I have you know just rolls and things just sticking out all sorts of places that there shouldn't be it just it, they just kind of it it fits together well on me at least I think it does it doesn't like show you know paunch or jowls or, or anything like that it's just like it's it's there and it keeps everything that should be covered up covered up and it just it, it looks it looks pretty good. In terms of dressing down, it looks pretty dressed up, um, which is kind of interesting when I think about it. Um, when I when I go to a business or anything, like I said, uh, or even sometimes when I'm not going to business, sometimes when I just like, hey, it's a regular day, should I wear jeans? Well, I'm going to the store and all these other places where a bunch of people are, uh, going to the mall or something like that. Jeans don't really need them. I'll put on the, uh, the the like the full slacks and the shirt and the whole nine yards. It's just well, not the whole nine yards because that's really heavy and hot and I get really warm. And I can't deal with it. But uh, yeah, I will. I will tend to dress up more than down. That's kind of the 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 the, the, the main gist of this. Um, which again makes clothing myself rather difficult because. Most of that stuff is either built for super skinny people who can't even breathe because it's also hot, those get it tight, and you can't breathe or anything like that. It's just awful and terrible. Or it's for the people who are incredibly overweight. And I cannot find that balance, the middle ground. Like I've like I said before, nobody likes the middle ground. Cross the board, no one likes it. Not designers, not clothing companies, not People on the street. 
Not people selling you the clothes. They're like, well, hey, this little... Th this bit of fabric that we got, really just to cover up like the neck of a guitar or something, that's not going to fit you, because you got like these gigantic shoulders that we can't contain. So we're going to go the other way. And rather than contain the shoulders, or rather than, you know, like try and crush the shoulders, what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, um, we're going to submerge you into the ocean of fabric. And this yard will be under your left arm, and this yard will be under your right arm, and these two yards will be meeting somewhere in the middle, and the other three yards are for the back. And they'll all hang out when you're trying to stand up or sit down. It's like, why does anyone need this amount of fabric? There is no one who could possibly fill a shirt that is like six feet around from the inside. I, 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 well, I won't say no one, because there's probably someone out there, because nobody likes the middle ground. Sorry. <clears throat> I should make that into a tune or something. That's, that might not, that's kind of catchy. Yeah, nobody likes the middle ground. We all want to be fat or super skinny. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I should not have subjected you all to that. Um, anyway, moving on. Yes. People, just pick one. Don't, don't, don't pick one. Please don't pick one. Find the middle. Find the middle. It's so much better. <sighs> yes. Uh, anyway, so I was in the store, and like, I finally got the shoulders, but there's like 900 yards of material here that I don't need. And they're like, well, it's part of the price. And I'm like, you're charging me for this? I don't want this. I don't need this. Thankfully, I have found a few places that make shirts and stuff that aren't, like, too bad or anything like that. So, okay, okay, I can, I can work with this. I can, you know, kind of tuck in a little bit of extra, and it's, it's not too bad. But just my my take on things. My, my, my personality kind of comes through in this. I, I, I can be a little high-strung. Perhaps that's the best way to put it. I'm a little high-strung about some things. Not really, because, I mean, I, 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 when things come at me, I kind of take it in stride. But, I mean, there's just the little things. The little things that just kind of like, you know, I understand that this is America, and we have a lot of people who are really overweight. But not everybody is. And the other half? Well, it's not really even half. But the other part of the the entire rest of the country is not this little stick figure people. A lot of the people come from places like I do, and they make them big over there. And I say over there because people that were made over here are not particularly the biggest and gigantic... I don't know. Just... I'm going to try and say things without offending anybody else, and it's not working out, so I'm just going to stop talking at all. Yes. But that's not going to work out for this video, because the entire point of the video is for me to talk. Yes, life is fun, isn't it? Making all these new friends and acquaintances, it's just like a big old party. <sighs> anyway, so, yeah, I, get, I, like I, said, I dress up, but I don't overdo it. I don't, at least I don't think I overdo it. You look at the video. I mean, look, not look at the video, but look at, look at the picture. It's right in front of you. It's a nice white shirt. I understand I'm a little bit... Overzealous in that picture, got my hands up and I'm. I was really getting into it at that point. But. It's not. I don't think I was like. Overdressed and overbearing and being more. Nasty and British about how overdressed I am than you and how. You know, people should be more like me. No, no, no. I'm just saying that in terms of me. I understand I'm downplaying myself, but I was playing up other people's, you know, what I perceived to be bad decisions yesterday. And this may not be the most fair and equitable presentation of the different viewpoints. But I am, like I said, I'm kind of offering myself up. Uh, like I said, I, I prefer to dress a step or two above everyone else that I come in contact with. Um, that's not always possible. I don't always pull it off. There are many cases where I don't. But it's just my perception that when I am in a room with people, because I have been influenced by people who are of that same mindset, who is like, okay, or, or come from that generation where 
they viewed it not as respect to them, but respect to you or to the people that they met, that they took the time to look nice, that they took the time to, to dress up and, and give weight to what you would have to say to them by presenting themselves in a good way, in a, in a, in a stronger, in a, in, a, in a more respectful way, in a respectful manner than, than just r- johnning off the street. They found that to be more respect to you than to them. Like, I'm not trying to garner respect to myself. I'm trying to give respect to the people that I meet. I, I guess that's kind of kind of how I how I view it. Uh, most people that I, that I meet, they they probably don't even notice. They probably don't even care. They're like, "Hey, can you help me or can you not?" And I'm like, "I can probably help you." And they're like, "Okay," or they're not, or they don't go okay, and they go, well, "I don't lie. I don't believe you. You're a liar. Get out." And I'm like, "But I can help you." And I'm like, "No, get out." I'm like, "Fine." <sighs> Next, but yes. Um. Anyway. That was a long rant about absolutely nothing. I cannot believe that there are probably still at least two people listening to this video. What is you doing with your lives? Anyway, uh, thank you all for watching, those of you who've made it this far, and everyone else who didn't make it this far, because, like I said, you are probably the more intelligent people who did not make it this far and will never actually hear me say this to you, or about you, or of you, or however you want to put that. Yes, thank you all for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did enjoy, a like rating down below would be very much appreciated. If not, a dislike rating and a nasty comment telling me to stop talking. Talking so much about myself. It would be very much appreciated. Anyway, I will see you all next time. Goodbye.